and welcome back to 10%. You know, in the mid-70s, there was an incredible book called The Front Runner. I know for me it was the first gay novel I read, and that famous book has given its name to a famous group, Front Runners. We're here today with Michael Colliver of East Bay Front Runners and Mike DeLeon of San Francisco Front Runners. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So for the uninitiated, what is Front Runners? Mike. Oh, okay. <laughs> Front Runners is a uh, gay and lesbian running group uh, that we have people of all abilities, running, walkers, and we just get together to keep our fitness and also social activities as well. Mm -hmm. Now you were saying that uh, it's not just gay men, that there are some groups that actually win, uh, men and women run together. Absolutely, we're known as an LGBT in Friends. We need those friends because it takes two of them to make one of us. Yeah. So, um, and we, uh, the, the staple of Front Runners is every Saturday at 9 a.m. And that kind of prevents people from going to the bars the night before. So a lot of people I've heard want it at 8 o'clock. Some people want it at 10 o'clock. But it's every Saturday at 9 a.m. So this is no matter where Front Runners is, 9 a.m. on Saturday. That is correct. And is there a... I mean, it's a gay group, so I mean, you no know, looks are important. Is there a <laughs> uniform? Is there a look? Is there a, a standard? What is the standard for front runners? Uh, a smile and a pair of running shoes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting you mention that because this year we actually bought a racing singlet, which is a San Francisco front runner, so that when we go, do go and do races in the city, we all look. We have a uniform outfit and we're recognizable. And yeah. New York front runners was just known for doing that. Uh, they, they, they must have had at the New York Marathon last year about 40 or 50 people, and you could clearly see them all wearing the New York front runner shirt. Yeah. I mean, all kidding aside, I, I mentioned the legacy of Patricia L. Warren, but before you were known as front runners, this group was called something else. The Lavender U Joggers. And that started what year? 1973. Right, around the same time the book came out. I remember when that book came out being a teenager in Richmond, Virginia, and, you know, dealing with my sexual uh, orientation, and reading this book about this gay Olympic runner and the affair with his coach. And it was, it was quite a hot story for a young <laughs> teenager. Oh, you, you were 12 or 13? I was 11. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it, it was something that said to me, okay, being gay is not just a stereotype that people said then. We're, we're non-athletic. We can't do anything that has to do with sports. And I was always the last picked for any team. So, I mean, in, in a way, it's not just about sports. Front Runners has a political agenda. It says we can be athletic, correct? That is correct. What is the greatest thing you've gotten from front runners as a runner yourself? And you're the vice president of the East Bay chapter, correct? Yeah, I was. Me and Mike had dinner the other night. We were talking about what, what do we get out of this group. And what we get is we get a sense of community. It's our tribe. Um, it's like our brothers and sisters. And we, we differ on a, another opinion of is the club, do you date within the club? And because San Francisco is larger, Mike's gotten partners from Chicago and mm -hmm. San Francisco that have been you know, <laughs> phenomenal long-term relationships. And for me, being in the East Bay, we only have 112 members, so I choose not to date within because that's that's my hobby. Uh -huh. So the dating or the running is the hobby. I, would, I need a date. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, I mean, so it is not just about the sportsmanship. And no, the, the, this this is a place where you do meet friends and absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I've I've met many people that are you know that I'm still friends with back in Chicago and similarly here I've met a lot of great people you know when you're running together I mean especially if you come pair off with a running buddy you're gonna run for long periods of time and you're talking you know mm -hmm. you're getting to know them better so now you say this is for LGBT runners and their friends yes. do you really have a lot of straight people running with you on Saturdays at 9 a.m. we try not to scare them but they <laughs> show up yeah <laughs> and what is that like I mean what was you know what's that experience like they're very open-minded. They'll, they'll bring their friends, they'll bring their family, they'll bring their pets. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is community. People get together. Um, I'm not going to lie, the East Bay chapters, it's all about the brunch. It's all about the food. You get people together, you get food together, we have a great time. <laughs> it's, it's a social club. Yeah. And where do you so. run in San Francisco? I mean, I would say the San Francisco chapter probably has the best butt muscles. I mean, running up and down <laughs> the hills, right? Yes, exactly. Um, we meet in Golden Gate Park at Stowe Lake mm -hmm. at 9 a.m. On Saturdays. And what about the East Bay? Where do you meet? We rotate every Saturday because the East Bay is a larger uh, location. We go from Alameda to Berkeley to Strawberry Canyon, uh, Lafayette, and San Leandro Marina. So if there's someone out there now who says, you know, I'm not the greatest runner in the world, I've never run before, should they be scared of this? Do they feel like they have to be someone who could do a triathlon or a half marathon before they can join you guys? Not at all. Not at all. We're, we're not front runners and walkers. We have a, uh, I started as Walker. I started with Baylands, which is the Palo Alto chapter, as a Walker. And I came to the East Bay chapter back in, I think, 2008 as a Walker. And one of the members encouraged me to run. 
and I'm one of the fastest runners. Mm -hmm. And is there a competitive, I mean, yes, this all sounds fun and social, but what's the competitive element of this? Do you, no, I mean, do you know, do you get together? Do you do marathons, half marathons? Yeah, there's, in fact, uh, last year we put on a half marathon training where um, we had a person in the group. We met Sunday mornings and he organized, a, there were a group of us, about 15, and we, you know, increased our mileage each week and got ourselves to a half marathon. There were about 10 of us that ended up completing it. And there's similarly, there's some really fast people that do some of the shorter races. And then there's also a pride meet as well, where people can go and, you know, do those short distances really fast. Yeah, so. talk about the, the pride run. I know it was one of your big events that you do every year. San Francisco does theirs in June. Yes. Yeah, we have a really big pride run in, uh, that coincides the Saturday of Pride Week. And uh, this past year, um, the San Francisco Roadrunners, which is a, mostly a straight running mm -hmm. organization, chose ours as their sponsor run. So we actually had a lot of straight people at our last Pride Run. Uh -huh. And what is the collaboration between the local chapters of Front Runners and Front Runners International? I mean, do you ever get together with other cities and do events? <clears throat> this year, me and Michael have made an effort to, for the four Bay Area chapters, so San Jose, Palo Alto, San Francisco, of course, is the, the first chapter in the East Bay. And we've made a conscious effort to get together. So we've done pool parties, we've done uh, potlucks, and we're going to do future events. So we created an all Bay Area club brochure with all our logos, and it talks about each club with the website. Now we talked a little bit about, you know, the political element of something like this. And in some sense, any LGBT group that is out is still political in the world in which we live. What has been your interaction with non-gay runners? Have you ever had any negative reactions to anything you do or anyone say, you know, wh why do you need a gay running group? <laughs> Interesting. I've, I've personally not heard that. No. But mm -hmm. Where do you think your greatest source of strength comes from? From our members. Mm -hmm. Our members are the best advertisement for the club. They're there because they want to be there and they mm -hmm. get something out of the club. Have you ever had a young person, especially the segment before this was talking about the spate of gay suicides, come to you and say, this is really important to me in our last few moments? They're, uh, they're amazed that there's actually groups like this around there, so that's why we're here is to get the word out that there are positive things to do in the gay community. Mm -hmm. If you had one message that you'd like to put out there for potential runners or walkers, gay or non-gay, what, what would it be? Mike, um, first you. What I would say is, you know, we are welcoming to all ages and all abilities. And we have a, we have people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and even people that have been in the club since the Lavender U days. So we're... So you got some senior runners out yep. there. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And how about you? Yeah, we go anywhere from somebody in their early 20s to, I think, uh, 70s. And if someone wants to learn more information, where do they go online? They can go to uh, eastbayfrontrunners.org, and there's links to other frontrunner chapters. And then sffr.org. This has been David Perry and 10%. I'm not a runner, but uh, I'm going to try to learn more. We hope to see you next week on your LGBT TV for California. Thanks so much.